G'day everyone, Ben here. Thanks again for tuning in. Welcome back after a long weekend, three days of much needed rest, or probably another three days after the grand final weekend. I'm sure there's a few weary soldiers out there. Anyway, onto property. The clearance rate dipped this week, landing just slightly above 50%, probably expected considering it was a long weekend with a lot of people away. And the volume of auction numbers were slightly down as well, but it looks like they're back up again this week. Now, if we're looking at what's going on in the property space, CoreLogic RP data did come out and say, and no, that with their new modelling data, that the growth that Sydney property prices have seen this year are gonna have us back on track to actually pick up all of the lost gains that we lost last year during that correction period. Now, in addition to all of this positivity around the growth rate in the property prices, it's also important to note the stock levels are also increasing. Now, that might seem a little bit odd when you look out there because it still appears that stock is remaining quite tight, and it is as well, but it's also important to note that we're coming from such a very low baseline. CoreLogic RP data did actually note that we are 4% below what they would consider an average volume of supply on the market for this time of the year. But if we correlate that with last year, the numbers are certainly up compared to what we were seeing back then. Now, if we cross-reference this with some data which was posted by Christopher Joy's team from across the globe, they've already noted some data that the house prices in the US have reached an all-time high. And if we have a look at this trending pattern, it looks like shortly afterwards is Canada, followed by Australia heading in the same direction. Now, if we drill down into our core markets locally, it seems like it has actually been split into two. And this has been confirmed by St. George's senior economist. And when I say it's been divided into two, it's been split into the top end or the lower end of the markets. Now, the top end of the market, they've recorded that they've had the growth rate slowing down to about 2.3%, but the lower end of the market has actually been accelerating up by 3.2%. And that's actually happening right here on the coalface. If we look at some of the, the bigger listings out there on the marketplace, some of those are failing to sell inside their scheduled four-week camp and those days on market are certainly starting to blow out a little bit more. Whereas if we're looking at the more you know, average price home in the area, everything seems to still be trading inside that 28 day window. Out and about in the grounds this weekend, we've got some great homes entering the market. We've also got an exceptional auction going up. One that's definitely worth keeping an eye on, Jody Thomas from our team is heading up 13 Cook Street in Roselle. This is your quintessential Roselle weatherboard, but it is in need of a complete transformation. There's been plenty of interest in this one. It should be an absolute cracker of an auction. Make sure you get down and check that one out. That's it from me. Thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you all out and about. Bye for now.